the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 355 1 Peter 1 to 5 Citizens in the kingdom of God Jesus who rose from the dead gave the disciples hope and mission and promised the Holy Spirit and commanded them to preach his love to all the nations. First point. Peter wrote that the prophets were able to prophesy from the abilities given by the Holy Spirit in order to testify Jesus. Peter's letters, 1 Peter and 2 Peter, were written amidst the growing persecution by the Roman Empire toward Christians. Peter wrote these letters to Christians in order to encourage them and give them strength. In his first letter, the themes were suffering, rebirth through the scriptures, and hope. And for his second letter, the themes were wisdom through experience, growing through grace and wisdom of Christ, and wording of false teachings. Peter's first letter was for Christians scattered around. Peter addressed them as scattered foreigners. Peter told these people to be glad even during suffering. Peter outlined the reasons as to why they should be glad. The first was because of their hope, through Jesus' resurrection and the kingdom of God. The second was because they were under God's protection until the day of their eternal salvation. The third was because they had received eternal life and glory through Jesus Christ. Peter wrote that salvation through Jesus was mentioned prior to Jesus' birth by the prophets. They were able to prophesy from the abilities given by the Holy Spirit, and this in itself was a testament of Jesus Christ. Thus, Peter told the Christians, to be holy in their daily lives. This was possible as God was their father and because God is holy. Peter also told them to have faith and hope in God and to love one another deeply. Second point, Peter referred to the Old Testament in order to teach about what being a Christian meant in the kingdom of God. Peter continued to teach Christians to grow and mature until the day of their salvation. He also told them to become unified with Jesus and to become citizens in the kingdom of God. Peter referred to the book of Isaiah and Psalm. Peter then taught them what citizenship in the kingdom of God meant. The citizens in the kingdom of God are those who are selected by God as recorded in Isaiah. They are holy citizens as recorded in Exodus. They are God's possessions also as recorded in Exodus. Third point. Peter taught that Christians were citizens in the kingdom of God and also that Christians are foreigners living on earth. Peter taught about how the church members had become God's people and about the relationships and role they were to take on. God's people were those who came to earth as foreigners and were placed on earth to glorify God and so they were to obey God all the more. Peter taught those who were slaves and their role. Peter then taught the roles of wives and then the husbands. Next, Peter taught the church members how to deal with the persecution. The first thing they were to do was to love one another consistently. The second was to not repay evil with evil. The third was to do more good deeds. The fourth was to spread the gospel even further despite the persecution. The reason Peter gave such advice to the church members was so that they could realize that 
the current persecution was temporary and that as citizens of the kingdom of God, they had hope. Fourth point, Peter stressed the benefits of hardship and taught the members of the church how they were to live. Peter told the church members that the benefits of hardship was that it enabled one to get rid of their old self and become renewed. Peter then taught them how they were to deal with hardship. First, they were to pray at such times. Second, they were to love one another profoundly. Third, they were to serve with all their hearts. First, they were to participate in hardship and to always be glad. Fifth, hardship was a sign that judgment was approaching and so they were not to avoid it and to always choose God the Creator. In AD 64, the great fire of Rome occurred and Emperor Nero placed the blame on Christians. Because of this, Christians were persecuted for just being Christians. However, Peter told the church members to regard this as participating in the suffering for Christ. Peter taught them to perform more good deeds amidst this hardship and glorify God all the more. Fifth point, Peter told the church leaders to lead by example. To the Christians who were going through suffering, Peter gave the following teachings. The first, towards the elders and leaders, to them, Peter told them to lead by example. The second was towards the young people. Peter told them to obey their leaders and to be humble. The third was for the church to not worry and to not fear. Peter gave loving advice to the church members and encouraged them as he ended his first letter. Peter wrote that he was currently spreading the gospel with Silas, who was a leader of the Jerusalem church and a companion to St. Paul during his second missionary journey. In addition, the mention of Babylon at the end of Peter's letter likely refers to the Roman church that was facing persecution by the Roman Empire. This was because Peter was spreading the gospel in Rome with Silas and Mark at the time of writing, and Timothy and Titus were Paul's sons in faith. Mark was likely Peter's son in faith. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.